Hello everyone. Welcome to our video poster. My name is Yavgen Bilahurel. I am doing my PhD research at Technical University of Denmark, Center for Acoustic Mechanical Microsystems. In this video, I am glad to present our work on the development of phononic fluidic sensor. This work is done under the supervision of the two professor Frida Luklum and former deduce professor Jakub Zartikaliens. The object of our study is a phononic fluidic sensor to measure volumetric properties of liquids. Our, our sensor consists of liquid filled cavity, which is surrounded by a phononic crystal. The liquid cavity, where we excite a standing wave by the help of ultrasonic emitter, excess resonator. Therefore, the shift of resonance frequency can be linked with material properties of liquids. This can be illustrated by the following figure, where you can observe the sensor effect. However, as you can see as well, the resonance peaks have large bandwidth and therefore low quality factor. In order to make them more distinguished from each other, we have to improve boundary conditions on the cavity walls. Our way to do that, to introduce a, a phononic crystal. The, uh, the phononic structures uh, have the most striking feature, it's the called band gap, where the propagation of uh, acoustic and or elastic waves is prohibited. The effect of band gap can be illustrated by the following transmission flow. However, if we change the middle unit cell size with the cavity, our transmission plots will look like that. Then you see that in a band gap, we place two acoustic resonance peaks that can be clearly distinguished from mechanical resonances. And moreover, the acoustic resonance peaks have a larger quality factor and can be dist more distinguished from each other. In our work, we focus on the influence of phononic crystal unit cell size on the sensor performance. For our study, we fabricated two sensors with a different phononic crystal unit cell size, 5 mm and 1.5 mm. Moreover, we developed a 3D finite element model, taking into account quarter symmetry of our sensor to reduce computational time, and we built experimental setup to conduct our transmission measurements. Finally, here you can see our achieved results. Uh, first of all, we observe a good agreement between our results in terms of resonance frequency. However, there is a mismatch between, uh, between computed and measured transmission curves in terms of quality factors. Unfortunately, the sensor with a 1.5 millimeter unit cell size works for us because the measured quality factor is only 40 instead of computed one of 220. We suppose this mismatch appeared due to curved cavity walls and moreover our computed computational model doesn't include losses on the coupling between ultrasonic transducer and the sensor. Thereby, our future work will include systematic design study of a phononic crystal lattice parameters and using method of computational optimization to improve the design of a sensor. Finally, I would like to say thank you for watching this video. In any case of any comments, suggestions and questions, please contact us.